I'm watching the episode and there's this like whole scene at a boxing ring that also has spaghetti dinners. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? It was her idea, the guest there, Azia, and she had talked about this boxing place on the outskirts of the city where all these old men beat each other to a bloody pulp while all the audience watches pasta. It's like the ancient Roman gladiators. So we start to look for that scene, you know, in pre-production in the place and we get, you know, connected with all these people. Like it turns out it may or may not really exist. So we had to sort of recreate it there based on what she was saying because it, it kind of that was a real match the only thing that was altered was that we served pasta because they weren't serving pasta and we're actually i mean if i was going to a boxing match and all of a sudden there was a film crew there and somebody you know shoved a plate of pasta in my face i don't think i would eat it but anyway all the people did and they were really good sports then tony left and we had to get the food inserts so we would reset and this is pretty you know common to get food inserts to make the food later or get the food close-ups of the food after tony leaves and so often i or another member of the crew would sit in to do that and um so i sit in to do the twirling pasta on my fork and i hadn't eaten in two days as you know when you're um even when making a food show the director, you probably don't end up eating very much because the food's not uh, as appealing. You said you'd lose like 15 pounds an episode out of stress. About 10 pounds each trip, yeah. I thought I was starving and I'm not the most adventurous eater, but you know, pasta and red sauce would be a pretty easy thing to eat. And so I'm twirling the pasta and they're fighting in the background. And Todd asked me to pause for a second as I'm getting the food insert. So I have the, you know, the fork here, my mouth is kind of open. And one of the boxers gets like, sucked really hard. And this long ropey thread of like saliva mixed with sweat <laughs> flew into my mouth because I had my mouth open. <laughs> it's a thing like this. I had to run outside and throw up. <sighs> Fortunately, not many people saw that. If you want to hear more behind the scenes stories of what it was like to work with Anthony Bourdain from his longtime friend, producer, and director, Tom Vitale, be sure to click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation.